According to his coach and his teammates, David Riley loved basketball more than anyone else they knew. By the time David graduated from Whitworth, he not only scored enough points to etch his name among the greats in pirate basketball history, but he had developed his game and teamwork to the point of becoming a crucial piece of one of Whitworth's greatest teams. David was a part of Whitworth legacy. His father, Ed, was a quarterback and basketball player for the Pirates. However, according to former Pirate head coach Jim Hayford, it was no cinch that David would choose Whitworth. Jim says, David had high aspirations, and he was one of only a couple of guys we recruited who probably could have been a Division I player. David was only one of two players to start as a freshman under Jim Hayford. The other was Brian Williams. Their dads, Ed and Glenn, were roommates at Whitworth. According to his coaches and teammates, David brought a youthful energy that sometimes spilled over into a clumsiness that led to injuries for those he was guarding, both in games and in practice. Because of that energy, his freshman nickname was Puppy. But that energy also led to 26 starts in 27 games for a team that reached the NCAA Division III Sweet 16. He averaged 12 points per game and was the only player in the Northwest Conference to rank in the top five in three-point percentage and three-pointers made per game. Ryan's confidence grew during his sophomore season. He increased his scoring average to 16.4 points per game, made nearly 47% of his three-point attempts, and earned first-team All-Northwest Conference. David scored 34 points at home against Pacific Lutheran in the first half. According to his former teammate Ross Nakamura, David was Clay Thompson before there was a Clay Thompson. He would get into that kind of zone, and as a point guard, I knew I had to keep getting him the ball. During that sophomore season, in the Northwest Conference Tournament Championship game at second-ranked Puget Sound, David hit a long three-pointer near the end of overtime that clinched the victory for the Pirates. Former teammate Clay Gebbers says we learned to look to David in clutch moments. He expected to take the tough shot at the end of a game. It was no accident that David was a great shooter. According to his former teammates, David was always a guy in the gym before and after practice, getting in as many shots as possible. Jim Hayford says, David earned the respect of his teammates through his work in the gym. He just loved to practice, and that rubbed off on the guys around him. Clay Geber says he felt pushed to put in the extra time, not by anything that David said, but because he knew that David was putting in the extra time. David continued to excel as a junior, earning first-team All-Northwest Conference once again and averaging 13.4 points per game while helping the Pirates return to the Sweet 16. As a senior in 2010-2011, David was part of one of the greatest teams in school history. The Pirates went 28-2, reached number one in the polls for much of the final half of the schedule, and advanced to the Elite Eight in the NCAA Tournament. David started every game and averaged 16.5 points. David was named first team all NWC for the third time and D3Hoops.com all region. Only 15 players in Northwest Conference history have been selected first team all NWC three times. David's coaches and teammates remember David as ultra competitive. That played out late in his final season. Earlier in his career, David had broken the school record for three pointers in a game making eight. During the final season, David's teammate Jack Loofborough made nine in a game against George Fox. In the second to last game of his senior season, David made 10 against Willamette to retake the record. It remains to this day. David concluded his Whitworth career with 1,655 points, the fourth highest total in Pirates men's basketball history. He ranked second all-time in three-pointers made and attempted. Whitworth played 114 games during his career. He appeared in every one with 112 starts. David graduated from Whitworth as a mathematical economics major. He chose to focus that analytical ability as a coach, joining Hayford on the staff at Eastern Washington University as a graduate assistant. He served eight more years as a paid assistant coach. Prior to the 2020-21 season, David was named head coach of the Eagles becoming one of the youngest Division I head coaches in the country. Jim Hayford says David is made to coach. He is super intelligent and he has a high level of empathy. He can really come alongside his guys. Ladies and gentlemen, for his ability as a shooter and scorer, for his impact as a teammate, for his willingness to do everything he could to be successful, we present for induction to the Whitworth Heritage Gallery Hall of Fame, 
David Riley.